with the eighth pick of the second round. <laughs> the FF Dynasties 2019. Rookie, mock it up, don't fuck it up. Who's on the clock? Corey. Hurt so good. Hurst, Hurst so good. So good. Uh, let's Make see her so here. Good. Okay, so. Shout out to Ross. First round, my man Ross, I scooped you up. Noah Fant, you're welcome. And doubling back around in the second round, and, you know, the boys gave me a hard time. How'd you take two tight ends in a row? This is the world we live in, in the offseason. There's drafts. no way he actually meant to take. He didn't know who he took the first time. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so now he's going with it. No, no, no. Here's what happens. I was, If you'll let me finish. <laughs> who did you take? Let me. Well, first, all right, I took Irv Smith. Irv Smith Jr. But if you go back and look at the dates and you follow the text message, this might this pick might have been in the absolute epitome, very tip top of the Kyle Rudolphs going out of Minnesota talk. And just that's the world we live in. And fantasy football is up and down, this and that. Now now it's a five year extension on the table and they just offered him this two weeks ago. Last week it was he was I'm too young to take a pay cut. I'm gonna be respected somewhere, blah, blah, blah. Irv Smith's awesome. Rudolph's leaving. Uh, and and meanwhile, Casey and I are getting we've we'd already selected Irv Smith in a in a FFPC rookie draft, and two picks later, somebody's trying to swoop in. One of our patron members is trying to trade for Irv Smith and trying to take him from us. And so it's like, all right, well, this Irv Smith loves going crazy. Uh, I'm gonna grab Irv Smith here. And I mean, obviously, if Damian Harris would have been on the board, that would have been a fine pick. But he just fell off. That's what happens. And I've just. You know, if it's you, tight end premium, it's just tight in end case premium. And listen to the last one, and you're listening to this one, right? And and he has Kyle Rudolph, but and he now he has Noah Fant, and I just stack up Irv Smith. He he, you know, he's got a couple of decent running backs, got a couple of okay wide receivers, and got Cam and Trubisky. And if you can figure out which one to plug those in each and every week, it's not a best ball. If you, can, I mean, he he can make some noise. And uh, and Herb Smith is the kind of player right now. I mean, if Kyle Rudolph signs this extension, you know, maybe it's a big fat womp 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 again. But right now, when I made this pick, the arrow was screaming straight up, and you could potentially trade Herb Smith before your team ever plays a game with him on the roster. And that's what I was thinking when I picked up Herb Smith. Here it was a value pick. Could have gone Justice Hill looking for a running back, but obviously I believe Mark Ingram could do some work there, and it's a big-time running team, so maybe Justice Hill still gets tons of work. Um, but I feel like Irv Smith was a good pick at the time, and I, I mean, still a good pick. It's just, with you know, again, he's got Kyle Rudolph. Made a lot of sense to me when I made the pick. Yeah? Well, what do you think about uh, Irv Smith? I like Irv. Uh, I, th- I, like the, I like that the public likes Irv. Irv, um, <laughs> so I, I'm I, I'm down with what you're saying, Big Co. I think I've I think I'm giving the slight edge to the player that I like to Sternberger, um, but I, I I'm down with Irv Smith, and you know, like you said, goes up and down. We don't know what's going to happen with Kyle and or Irv here, but Irv probably plays the position a little different than Kyle Rudolph. Um, I agree with that. And I think that what you just, and we don't want to get off on a Jay Sternberger tangent here, but I think Sternberger could be much, much more fantasy relevant a lot faster than Irv Smith with or without Rudolph because the Vikings have dominant receivers and the Packers really don't. They got Devontae Adams and maybe my boy Geronimo Allison's a flex starter. You know, I yeah. think, I and think there's nobody really in front of Sternberger there. Well, Jimmy Graham, but he's a shell of himself, unfortunately. And Fair. So yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying there. And I did go Irv again, the, the talk was going crazy. Irv Smith was the hot topic that week, and I could easily take Sternberger as well. I mean, I, I think Irv's a pretty good player. I like I said, I'd give a slight advantage to Sternberger. I think, but I don't. I don't hate taking Irv Smith in tight end premium. Yeah, it's it's a good swing. I mean, he was played really well. had had a really good year. Uh, I mean, crushed crushed downfield. Was first in yards per route ran. Pretty fast guy. The three cone wasn't the best ever, but it's tight end. Tight end. Look, look good running routes, and and he was it open. Could, it could really play into how they seemingly want to run their offense. They want to be a little bit more uh, run first, and you can put Diggs and Thielen out out there, and then you can put Kyle and uh, Irv Smith Jr. out there, and you can have a mismatch coming off the line of scrimmage with Irv Smith, who's a little bit more of a receiver. Uh, type of a player where you can Kyle's maybe a little bit better in line and still a good receiver but not 
doesn't move the way sure Irv moves. And in that scenario, if you're running that direction, even though he might not be the best blocking tight end ever, he's still going to get a, probably a better block as a 240 pound man than a t- typical slot receiver. Yeah. So I, I I can see that as a mismatch potential. So I think too. I think it's a good schematic fit for them, and you know, tight ends typically take a little while to develop and. I don't. I don't know if they're going to re-sign Kyle Rudolph to a five-year deal. I think that that might be just it's the offers on the table. Yeah, and it, but it, it could be that probably a cheap offer. Ex- I was just about to say that it could be a slap in the face offer. Yeah, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? It's uh, it seems it's up like in the Kyle's air, but... most likely out of there, but we'll see. Right. All right. Well, they let's... do have really good blocking tight ends on the roster as well. So if Kyle happened to go, they would kind of do the same thing that I'm talking about, maybe with a little upgrade at a, as a blocker. Uh, but not nearly as good of a player as Kyle Rudolph is all around. True. So, because Kyle Rudolph does not get the love he deserves. No, and that's for sure.